In this problem, I need to find all solutions to this equation here that lie in the interval 0 to 360 degrees. So I'm in degree mode. And so let's look at the equation. It says the cosine of theta is negative 0 0.85. That is not on the unit circle. It's not one of my values. So I'm going to have to use my calculator. Another hint is when they say round to the nearest tenth of a degree is the inverse cosine of negative 0 0.85. So I'm going to have to use the inverse cosine or arc cosine key on my calculator to be able to find the angle whose cosine is equal to this number. So let's go to the calculator and turn it on. Check the mode. I'm in degrees. So inverse cosine of negative, not subtract, the negative of 0 0.85. Close your parentheses, hit enter, and here's my answer. We need to round to the nearest tenth, which is this position, so this one is going to leave that to alone. So my answer is going to be 148.2. So let me go over and write it over here. So I know theta is 148.2 degrees. And does that angle lie in my required interval? Yes. So I found one solution to this problem. Now that is the only answer the calculator gives you. And why does it give me that one? Well, it all depends on the definition of the inverse cosine function. And remember, there's a restriction on it. It says my answer has to lie between 0 and pi or 0 and 180. So I'm restricted with my answers have to either be in quadrant 1 or quadrant 2. Since the cosine was a negative number, that means I have to be in quadrant 2. So that's the answer the calculator gives you. But can the cosine be a negative number in another quadrant? Well, remember your mnemonic, all students take calculus. The cosine is positive in 1 and 4, so it's negative in quadrant 2. I've already found my quadrant 2 angle, but it's also negative in quadrant 3. So I've got to come up with my quadrant 3 angle whose cosine is equal to negative 0 0.85. And this is where we're going to use reference angles. So what you do is you draw the angle you've already found. It's up here in quadrant 2. Here's my 148.2 degrees right here. And remember, the reference angle for this angle is the acute angle the terminal side makes with the part, not the positive, with the x-axis. So here's my reference angle. That is the acute angle this terminal side makes with this x-axis. So how are you going to find your reference angle? Well, if you look at the picture, the reference angle plus 148.2 equals 180. So I'm going to take 180 degrees and I'm going to subtract 148.2 degrees. So what is my reference angle? My reference angle in this case is 31.8 degrees. We might ask, why did I bother finding that? The reason I found that is the reference angle for my angle in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 has to be the same for the cosine to equal the same number. So all I have to do now to figure out my angle in quadrant 3 is where's the reference angle on this picture? It's the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So here's my reference angle. So how am I going to find that whole angle? Well, it's 180 plus my reference angle. So my angle in quadrant 3 my theta here in quadrant 3 is going to equal 180 degrees plus 31.8 degrees. And so what's my angle in quadrant 3? It's 211.8 degrees. 
So that is the other angle between 0 and 360 whose cosine is negative 0 0.85. And at the very end, it doesn't hurt to double check this. So let's go to our calculator and just find the cosine of this angle. The cosine of 211.8 degrees, hit enter, is it the number we came up with? Well, remember, I rounded this one a little bit. Therefore, this will not be exactly what we started with. But notice, is this approximately this? Yes, that tells you you got it right.